Welcome to the Mob of the Dead starting room challenge. I don't think we've done one of these since like 2020. But welcome back to the channel, people. Got a couple things I'm gonna talk about in today's video along with trying to complete the starting room challenge. Love, love, love Mob of the Dead. Not so sure what double points is gonna do for us, to be honest with you. I mean, I know what it does, but it's different. So we got a couple things we're gonna talk about in today's video. I got, and to a degree rightfully so, I got absolutely flamed for my top five worst Call of Duty Zombies maps of all time video. 1,500 views, well over 40 comments of people telling me I'm wrong or that my takes are criminal. A couple of people that I actually really respected, they were like, oh yeah, your takes are criminal, but we got a, you know, everybody's got their own opinions type deal. That was kind of some of the comments, which was nice. Other people told me I was straight up like stupid, which is fine. What I asked... And a lot of my response comments was, hey, you know, this is my top five list. What's yours? Pretty simple. So I want you guys, if anybody's watching this video, to leave me what your top five worst Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies maps are in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys about them. A lot of people disagree with the five take, and that's, that's fine with me. I was never really a giant fan of five. I will say I did a, a poor job of explaining some of my reasonings. Like, one of my reasonings for why I didn't like 5 was this is big and confusing. Though, in hindsight, well, yes, I still stand by that. Um, I probably could have gave further reasoning behind why I thought it was like that. So, I never really got into 5. I never really played Black Ops 1 Zombies until way past it was, like, way past its prime. So, whatever people, like, feel like they enjoyed at about, about 5, I never really got to experience. I think my favorite map from Black Ops 1 is probably still Kino. You know, that includes, like, Moon, and, and... Yeah, I probably could have gave further explanations why I didn't like 5. Um, I didn't like the vibe of it. The portal system was confusing. Sometimes, and, you know, sometimes your reasoning isn't super in-depth. Like, you don't have to have, like, a whole essay reason why. Sometimes your reason is... It just, like, it was one of those things you just didn't like. I think 5 kind of falls under that one, which makes it kind of towards the top of the list. It wasn't something like... anything super in-depth reasoning but whatever and then I had some people tell me that the confusing reason is stupid because it makes me sound like I don't can't think properly but look I've completed the Easter egg of revelations revelations wasn't on the list or not completed but I've come very close to completing the Easter egg of revelations revelations is on the list mob of the dead is, is quite large and sometimes has confusing tracks not on the list mob of the dead is actually my favorite map of all times Buried, I saw people commenting that Buried is like their number one least favorite map because of the same reasons that I gave for 5 being one of my least favorite maps. There are maps that definitely fit that category of, or Die Rise. Die Rise is a giant mess. Die Rise, Die Rise giant mess. Definitely not on my uh, worst maps list though. So the, the idea that I did that because I can't process things and that I dislike all big confusing large maps it's kind of stupid but everybody's entitled to their own opinion about somebody else that's not really my whole concern to be honest with you regardless leave your top five down in the comment section below the more important thing is that we're playing mob of the dead today which makes this which makes me think that today is going to be a good day i'm starting my morning off recording mob of the dead doesn't really get much better than that i want to do a live stream playthrough but I've been playing a lot of MW3, getting ready for another video series I want to start on MW3. The channel, in case you guys haven't figured it out yet, is just Call of Duty based. It's not zombies centered. I mean, there's a lot of zombies, don't get me wrong. But it's not like I won't be playing anything else Call of Duty related. I'm going to be playing. I got the BO3 or BO4 RTC going right now. I'm going to be doing a Road to Commander when BO6 comes out. I'm thinking about starting up a league play series on modern warfare 3 i honestly think that'd be a lot of fun i haven't played competitively in a very long time and right now i'm trying to fix my aim it's gotten a lot better actually oh we're definitely dead here oh oh boy oh there we go oh boy nope got backed into a corner Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, throwing in some other videos too. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer videos and some some live com league play stuff. 
Also, while I have you guys here, I recently started streaming on Kick. I streamed last week and I plan on streaming this weekend. I've got to change my description to update for the Kick. But we're streaming on Kick. Road to Affiliate over there. Should be a good time. Got two afterlifes. So that's going to be useful. You guys noticed the play was not to get the Olympia this, this game. The M14 takes so long to reload. What was that? What I hit? I'm dead. What did I even hit, dude? I'm dead when I get back up. Round eight is it. Yep. Oh, fuck me. I didn't even kill a crawler with it. Yeah, that was a wrap. Round seven, I'm sorry. I didn't even uh, forgot what round we were on. But we're only going to give this one one shot today. Um, got some other stuff I got to get done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I kind of just want to talk about a couple things, get the challenge out of the way. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.